wireless Wednesdays. They're going to be every Wednesday, I think, at this time, unless we choose to do a different time. And we go over everything to do with the wireless world as we know it at the moment, which includes, but is not limited to, private wireless MVNOs, eSIMs, travel, travel sims, cargo banks, electric vehicles. Tracking. And we are extending it to sustainability and EVs. Indeed. And I think the most important thing is the software defined vehicle. Let's have a, a buzzword, which um, has been a long time coming, but is sort of finally coming to fruition as big vehicle <clears throat> makers like BYD are basically installing an Android uh, head unit. And you can do what you like with it, you're not stuck. But I suppose, shall we start with start with e-cargo bikes since we got our first orders of our small electric vehicles, our first electric yes. vehicles. Sounds weird, doesn't it? But I our small e-cargo bikes, yeah. which are going to have private 5G on them, so networks on wheels, and be going into a council that we will, and we'll start showing this and, and sharing the process with you here on this channel and on LinkedIn. And... Uh, so yeah, why why you cargo bikes and now and what have they got to do? Why have they all got trackers in them? Um, it's probably as well, I think, to give some context as to why we decided to to do e cargo bikes. Um, uh, I mean, the quick headline: thirty seconds is DCIT, Department of Science, uh, Information Technology, has um, put a lot of money into. <clears throat> uh, securing supply um, for networks, particularly a lot into open RAN and a lot into um, uh, sustainability. And what that's meant is they've looked at particular projects with open RAN and looking at areas of not spots, want a better phrase. Um, yeah. And the solution we came along with was network on wheels, want a better phrase. And there's three variants of that. One is Land Rover, the petrol version with um, a painted mast on there. There's the electric version of Land Rover, and then there's an e-cargo bike, which is for the really hard to, re to reach, not spots as I'd like to call them, um, mm -hmm. because they're pretty durable and they'll go over most things. 